Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading from mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me for more specific information. And because it is general, the roles can be reversed. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on with you. Okay, so we have inner child and we have mute. Okay, that's an interesting combination. So I feel like, hmm, you are involved in a connection where it might be bringing up something from your past, possibly something from your past where that you have either ignored or that where you feel like you might have been ignored or ghosted or blocked or just, I mean, it could even be from a parent figure. It could be just about anything. So it's kind of interesting. I feel like whatever this connection is for you, it's kind of repeating a pattern from your past. Let's see, let's see what this is about. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is actually going on here in your love life? All right, so for the recent past, we have the Queen of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, yeah, so definitely a connection where you felt a lot of um, emotions. It was something that you just, it just felt right, okay, with this Queen of Cups. Even intuitively, you felt drawn to this connection. And I feel like there were a lot of emotions on from both sides, or at least the expression of that. But it feels like something just wasn't manifesting, something just wasn't happening. I feel like there was this energy of waiting, or of stalling, but it was something that like, it always felt like it was right around the corner, right around the corner, and then it just never, um, it never manifested, and so I feel like there is this block now, okay? And it could be that the other person blocked you, or it could be that you actually put your foot down, set a boundary, we'll see. All right, so for the current situation, we have the Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so this is actually a very interesting combination, but um, yeah, there. I feel like you're feeling a little trapped in this, maybe, maybe just really thinking intensely about the situation, feeling like you don't know what to do, feeling like there is no solution, like there is no way for this to work out you and it's almost like you don't know how to get yourself out of this either and it could be that you feel like this person was just not able to bring you um, what you deserve or fully commit to you or just really invest in this connection but you're still feeling this attachment here At the same time, though, I do feel like you're trying to do something about it. I feel like you are trying to take some action to, in one way or another, either to get away from this, to find a solution, or to make things work out, or you might just be communicating this to this person. We'll see. For the near future, we have the King of Swords, <clears throat> the Magician, and the Page of Cups. Well, something's manifesting here. Somebody's manifesting something. And I, I don't really feel like, I don't know if this is you. It doesn't feel like it is. Um, I feel like there's going to be some kind of clarity, some kind of... Somebody is becoming very determined. So we'll see when we clarify. 
But that determination is actually manifesting a confession. Let's clarify. <clears throat> This might even be an apology. All right, let's clarify. <clears throat> let's clarify that seven of wands. <clears throat> okay, so we have the sun, the seven of wands again, and the five of pentacles. All right, so with this blocking out, um, whoever did that, whoever set the boundary, whoever decided to block out the, either their emotions, the connection, or just wanted to put an end to this waiting game or to this um, stalling, I actually, okay, let's just assume this is you. I feel like you... You felt like this was the right thing to do. You felt like this was actually going to lead to some happiness or to lead to some kind of some kind of a success, some kind of a resolution. But again, it feels like it's more of a defense mechanism and I'm not saying that it was that it was the wrong thing to do, but it's just really coming across as a self-defense mechanism to me right now. Um, and it's also making you feel, you know, a little bit um, lonely all right well this was actually recent past but you could still be feeling this because we do have the eight of swords all right and if it's not you then the roles are reversed and it's your person and so it feels like yeah like this five of pentacles energy this feeling alone it's kind of reminding me of this inner child in mute right like feeling like you are ghosted or feeling like somebody is just not putting in enough effort somebody is not coming after you somebody is not communicating with you or expressing something to you. And this is something that you may have experienced again in your past. Let's see the Eight of Swords. The Six of Pentacles, Strength, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, again, you're it, you're feeling like, you know, this situation might never change because somebody cannot give enough here. There's not an even give and take. Or somebody is just not able to um, share their energy in a way where it would be sufficient for this connection, okay? This is how somebody is feeling here. Um, and I do, okay, we also have strength, we have the sun, so some of you might even be dealing with a Leo. Definitely let me know if that is the case. I feel like whoever this is, you're really, it's really taking every bit of strength that you have from within to try to turn your back and walk away from this. And it's hard because you feel like you can't. You just feel trapped in this because the emotions are there. The emotions are so strong, right? The Queen of Cups right above the Eight of Swords. Let me see the King of Pentacles. Okay, wow. We have the Lovers and we have the Ace of Cups. All right, so I do feel like this is um, the person that you're dealing with here, right? This is the person that I feel is actually the way it's coming through to me is that this person is not able to give you this um, King of Pentacles type of an energy, right? It's like it's there, the King of Pentacles right under the Two of Wands. It's like they have that ability, they do have that potential, but they're holding back from actually using it. They're, this is a person who would be able to be that stable, consistent um, partner providing you with everything you deserve, but they, it's almost like they're choosing not to. This person, though, has a lot of love. All right, we have the lovers and the ace of cups. This is a lot of love that this person has for you. 
Um, but for whatever reason, they're holding back the physical aspect of this, like what it is that they can actually provide. The emotions are there, the feelings are there, the love is there, but it's like the um, actual giving, providing that energy in the material world, that's what's missing. Not being able to provide enough on a more practical level. Let me see the Eight of Wands. All right, the Three of Swords. Give me one sec. And the Page of Wands. You're, I feel like you're, you're, you're moving, you're trying to take action here, you're moving in a direction where it's hurting you. The direction that you're moving in is actually hurting you. It's causing you pain, right? The Three of Swords. It, I feel like, yeah, you know, it's, it's like your heart is broken, but at the same time, you know that you have to go, you know, follow the direction that you feel is going to be in your best interest. Kind of like taking this new path. So let's see. Let's see where this is leading you. Let's clarify the King of Swords in the near future. Let's see the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. You're, okay, yeah, this is you actually. This is you. Your person was up here. This is you. You're you're very determined. You're very determined to detach yourself from this connection, no matter how painful it is. You're just um, trying to process the ending of it. Like I said, it's you're it's taking every bit of strength that you have within you to walk away from this. And I see this again. I see you being more determined coming up. But just really finding that that determinism, that willpower, and I feel like you're going to be very successful at that. This is you standing strong in yourself. This is you finding your confidence. This is you feeling like you can be self-reliant and that you are fulfilled independently of this person or of this connection. And I feel like at the same time, that's actually helping you to heal that inner child wound as well. But you doing that, you doing that is manifesting something here, all right, with this Page of Cups. And it could be from this person, it could be from somebody else, but you're definitely manifesting some kind of an emotional confession, possibly even an apology. So let's see, let's clarify, let's clarify that Page of Cups. You're really making things happen for yourself. All right, we have the Three of Cups and the Page of Swords. All right, so two pages. This is definitely communication here. This is definitely communication um, that is actually going to be very, very positive news for you, all right, with this Three of Cups. It could definitely be a, um, it could definitely be communication concerning a reconciliation, a coming back together with somebody from your past, but even if it's not that, whatever it is, it's going to be something that is going to make you very, very happy, okay? And I do see emotions behind that. I also do see truth behind that as well, okay? So it feels like it, yeah, it might be really difficult at this moment, but you being determined to stand in this Nine of Pentacles energy where you are grounded and feeling very self-assured, very self-reliant, very independent, even if, you know, and I actually feel with this Ten of Swords that this is you leaving that pain in the past. Doing that, being determined for that, you are creating <clears throat> something that is going to be very, very positive for you, whether it be a reconciliation or not, but it definitely, definitely has that potential here with the Three of Cups. It could even be somebody new for some of you. Alright, 
cancer so let's close this out with an oracle message for you if this resonated All right, and we have the full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So yes, you know, it's like this is going to climax and then things are going to be so much easier for you. Things are going to feel more light, more positive, more happy. So <clears throat> yeah, this is almost over, basically. That's the point here. All right, Cancer, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.